Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 Disk Cleanup. To open it up, first you need to click in the bottom left hand corner and type in Disk Cleanup. And as you can see, it's right there. You now have options. You can select which hard drive you'd like to clean up. For now, we're going to stick to our C drive and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. As you can see now, we've got a list of options here. There's quite a few options, which is great. And as you can see here, it says we can free up 1.15 gig of disk space on our C drive, which is fantastic. But I want to be able to free up more disk space than that. To do this, you now need to click on a clean up system files. And you need to go ahead and hit OK again on your C drive. And as you can see, it's now scanning more locations. And once it's finished that, the window will pop up again, as you can see. And it now says we can clean 1.43 gig of disk space, which is that's awesome. That's a massive increase from the last scan. If we now go through and select these options, as you can see, just be careful making sure you only select what you want to remove and not everything, such as the recycle bin. Is everything in the recycle bin definitely in there that you want to remove? Or is there something in there that you want to keep, for instance? Once you've gone through and selected all the checkboxes of what you want to clean, you can now go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to go and press Delete Files. As you can see, it's saying cleaning, and it's just going through all the directories now and deleting all those files. Once that's finished, we can now go ahead again and hit Start and type in Disk Cleanup and just double check that everything was removed. As you can see, that's great. We've only got 46 meg now that can be freed up. If we go ahead and hit clean up system files again and go onto our C drive and let it quickly scan. And now once you're on here, if we go across to more options, you have an option here that says system restore and shadow copies. You can now go ahead Bearing in mind, this is going to delete system restore points, which are basically mean if your computer messes up now, then you won't be able to go to your backup system restore point. So once you do this cleanup, then create another system restore point. As we're going to delete some old ones that you'll probably never ever go back to anyway. You now want to hit cleanup and you want to go delete. And that is it. It's as simple as that. System restore points do take up quite a bit of space, which means we just freed up a nice chunk of disk space. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.